Okay, I'm Jeff. I'm with iSciFi. I actually run a science fiction, fantasy, horror website that's all about fan stuff and I. Fantasy stuff, right? Fantasy as Not well. Fan stuff, fantasy. Fan fantasy and fan driven. Fan driven stuff. Yeah, Sweet. and. Fantastic. You are? The monk. The monk from? Idaho. Boise, Idaho. Idaho. The monk from Boise, Idaho. Probably the only monk in Idaho that's from Boise, Idaho. And this is the little church. This is of, the little church of miracles. And how it became the little church of miracles was, there was a fire across the road from the builder's house. They live 18 miles north of the Yankee Fork, uh, which is in the center of Idaho. And uh, so they had a fire start across the road from their house. Uh, the builder went across and got the neighbor to help fight the fire. As they were fighting the fire, the winds picked up and they were about to be engulfed by the flames. And the wife seen this and she said, Lord, if you can put this fire out, I'll build you a church. Winds change, fire's done, just like that. He drops the neighbor off and comes back home and he goes, I thought we were dead. I, th I thought for sure we was done. And she goes, I did too. And I asked for a miracle and we have to build a church. It took four years to construct the little building. We're only on an eight by 16 trailer. She did all of the woodwork herself. All of the, the slashes on the roof are to, um, for all of the pain and suffering that Jesus went through. And then, and then they were like, what are we going to house in the little chapel? And so the antiquities started to roll in. Uh, the hand-carved Jesus, the chandelier, and the light sconce. Uh, they come from a chapel in Austria. Um, and it was a chapel that Hitler had taken down. And so some of these relics were saved and salvaged. Uh, these uh, pieces right here were in storage for 37 years. Uh, before they were able to uh, before they were able to be seen by the public again uh, a lot of these uh, antiquities in here is a second century Christian seal uh, fourth century uh, benzene cross which uh, benzene time was a, a turkey area at that time okay. uh, there's a Rome lamp uh, behind the door right here there's a, um, a little medallion in the middle of the door right there can you get that Kind of the, here. the little medallion in the middle of the door come from Poland, and that was also in a chapel that Hitler burnt down. Made its way to the East Coast, was put into a chapel there, and then when they took that chapel down, they sent them the medallion. They heard what happened, they sent them the medallion, and sent them a really nice letter and uh, explaining how they received the medallion and everything. Uh, a church in uh, New York City had heard about this and uh, wanted to send them something out of their church, so they sent this shadow box. It's a, a sick box. Uh, with Mary holding Jesus, and uh, they pulled that right out of the chapel in New York City and sent it to him. And how did you get involved? Uh, how in I this? got involved was, um, you know, I kind of ran out of work. Uh, my work, uh, um, my work left me. <laughs> I should say, uh, we just got really extremely slow, and everything got slow, and so they laid off a bunch of people, and I just happened to be one that was uh, laid off, and. And, uh, and it was a job that I, I found, that I loved, and I enjoyed my job, and it never ever felt like work. And, and it's very important that you find something like that in life, so that when you go to work, that you're happy and enjoying it, and it never feels like a job, and money appears in your account. And you have a piece of history that you get to travel yes. around now with, which is... travel around with this. This little piece here is out of Spain. Uh, it dates back to the 1600s. The uh, uh, pews are out of China. These uh, three benches right here and that one up there, they're out of China. Uh, that one right there is from the East Coast, uh, the ends, the um, um, stained glass, and the uh, bell on the roof are from the East Coast. They're out of a chapel on the East Coast that got torn down, and they, they date back to the 1800s. Prayer books, right? Uh, nope. This is a complete Bible and with all the different uh, sections in the Bible. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, and it dates back to the 1800s, and it came out from the East Coast. Uh, the Sun Valley Glass Company had heard what had happened, and they wanted to do something really nice for them. Uh, so they built them all the stained glass. Uh, they floated it between two panes of glass, and uh, and we have not had a problem with it yet. I put the boards, cover it up, throw the tarp on, we travel down the road. We've been having a lot of fun. Uh, the Bible, uh, this Bible right here is on loan to us from uh, Big John. Uh, he has the Colorado Guild uh, down in the first beginning end there coming in. And uh, this is a, a reproduction in the 1800s of a 15th century Bible. 
and uh, we were hoping to manifest this Bible last year and it didn't work out but we still get to show it again this year oh, great. Uh, so as I was telling the story last year about how our Bible was on borrowed uh, a young lady come up to me and she says sir she says I never do this but I ended up buying a Bible at a, at a yard sale and I never buy Bibles or anything like that but I know why I bought it now it's to give to you so you'll have your own Bible for your church uh, the Bible dates back to 1818. Uh, it's all in uh, German, and it starts with the, the history of the of the family that owned the Bible and stuff. Oh, awesome. Well, appreciate your time. Um, how do we find out more information? Uh, uh, Facebook us on the Little Church of Miracles, and uh, like us. We love to have a lot of people. We also love to hear from people. Um, we also... Um, uh, if people have problems or whatever, they can send us a letter, and we'd love to help them write write back a letter to them and try to help them uh, change their negative vibration to a positive vibration. Great. Uh, the world evolves around positivity and not negativity. And the more you ask the universe is what you're going to get back. If you're asking the universe for negative things, you're going to receive negative things. If you're asking for positive things, positive things come to you, and it works. It's worked for us. We've been very happy, and we're. Hopefully we're getting to travel around. I know we are going to get to travel around this year. And uh, so we will be coming to a Ren Fair or a Gay Pride next to you.